So in the last lessons we are looking at all principles that govern the speed time graph. Then in this lesson I want to highlight how to solve unknown terms. It can be tested to find uh, an unknown term given the distance. So it will be required to find either speed or time. Let's take this example meters per second. This is 25. This is uh, time axis this of this t this three so here it's obvious that we want to find t given that the total distance covered was 212.5 meters find the value of t so this was the total distance the total distance is obtained after finding the area of the shape therefore uh, we use the formula of uh, a plus b H, which is the formula for finding a trapezium and the answer was given as 212 therefore we want to identify the the, uh, the elements here so the shortest side will be found by subtracting 3 from t so it will be t minus 3 so instead of a I will put t minus 3 then plus a the longest side which is 12 times the height which is 25 and we have the distance which is 212.5 I will simplify by applying by two both sides. So if I apply by two here, I will cancel two here to remove the half. I will remain with t minus three plus twelve inside the bracket times the height, which is twenty-five. It's equals to twelve comma five times two is four hundred and twenty-five. I will further simplify the bracket. This will be t plus nine times twenty-five equals four twenty-five. Expanding is twenty-five t. Plus 225, 9 times 25 is 225, is equals to 425. Then I will take 225 to the right side, it will be subtracted. 425 minus 225, I will remain 200. So 25t is equals to 200. Divided by 25 both sides, this means my t is equals to 8 seconds. So that's how you can find unknown terms. Another example, which is my last example here, I'm giving here. My unknown is on the speed axis, which is S, and my time is 15 seconds, and this was just the line. So here, distance covered, uh, you can be given in acceleration. Given that the acceleration was 23 meters per second, per second, find the value of S. I want to find the value of speed here. So the formula for finding acceleration is gradient change in speed over change in time. Therefore, I will put my elements here. My change in speed is S, my change in time is 15, and I'm given the answer which is 23. 23 to improve a fraction is 7 in the third. 7 over 3, so S over 15 is equal to 7 over 3 times 15 both sides. Uh, I will remain here with the S, and 7 over 3 times 15 is 35 meters per second. So my speed here was 35 meters per second. So this marks the end of our lesson, few things to do, calculate an unknown term which is t, given that the car traveled 705 meters in 60 seconds. This marks the end of our lesson.